Let's go! What's going on, hang gang? This is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. It's also the day I go to the hotel and we get this thing going. Let's go. I've never experienced NFL training camp before, obviously. So I'm pretty excited. And thankfully, I have experienced God's goodness and faithfulness in my life. So his will is gonna be done no matter what. So I'm just going in there ready to get after it. Oh, and my lens is fogging up because we're in Florida. When we go outside, it gets humid. Still repping the OU gear. Let's go. And repping the Lord always. Yes, sir. So right now I'm going to the facility. I'm gonna get a workout in and then later today, I'm checking in the hotel where we should see Zeke and Chris as well. And I'm excited, let's go. Just like that, we're here. Time to go lift. And remember, whatever you do, work heartily as if serving the Lord. Let's go. Oh, dog. Had a great workout in. As you can tell from my shirt, I wish it were hotter. Let's go. Oh. I'm at a good weight. Body fat percentage went down. Let's go. Thank you, Lord. This is the perfect size carry-on for the mission I'm about to undertake right now. Training camp. Yeah. Birds making loud noises. Honestly, it's easier. Look at this view, guys. Got this big palm tree right here. I love palm trees, you know? I missed seeing those growing up. Oklahoma should get some palm trees and plant them around the state. That'd be pretty cool. I don't know if they'd survive in Oklahoma though. I guess they would. All right, anyway, hang gang. Right now, I'm gonna go get some food. I might do another workout and stretch, and then later on, perhaps we'll say what up to Zeke, do a Bible study or something. Quick fit check. I usually like to wear slides when I'm not working out or doing stuff because my feet are always so squished in my football cleats that they need to breathe. Especially my right foot because I wear my cleat an actual size down because I like it nice and tight fitting when I'm punting. So anyway, let's go get some grub. Welcome to the US. Come on, Zeke, answer field. your phone. Dude, that lizard's gonna get ran over. Oh. It's a nice little area. This place is called Lime Kitchen and Grill. And I like T1 of Flats a lot, but Zeke actually showed me this place at the church one day, and it was really good. So we're gonna get this to go. Bag secured, hang gang. It's an anabolic meal right here. Carne asada burrito. I'm kind of sad to be eating this alone though, so yeah. Obviously, we're never alone with the Lord. What a pain gang. Ah, my own place. Is it just me or is this an anabolic meal? Whether you eat or drink or whatever you do, do it for the glory of God, let's go. Taste test right here. That's good stuff right there. Hey gang, it's been like four hours. I actually went back to the facilities to get my second workout in of the day. And right now, we're hitting up the restaurant downstairs to get some grub. And I actually have a voucher, which is pretty nice. Hello? 
Yeah, can I have the left side of the menu, please? Let's go! So I was kidding about the left side of the menu. I know this isn't the most exciting vlog ever, hang gang, but I'm doing what I can right now, and I uh, appreciate you guys watching. But let's look at this food. This healthy and anabolic dinner. Out the gate strong. Salmon, what do we got here? Side salad, a bacon cheeseburger. So I know I said healthy, the cheeseburger, maybe I'll eat half of it. But the salmon and the salad will also be healthy and this is a lot of protein right here. Let's go. Whether you eat or drink, whatever you do, do it for the glory of God. And yeah, I said it twice, but have you memorized it yet? Yo. Big Z, what up, bro? What up, bro? What's up, bro? What's up, bro? This guy's got a nice room. Spacious in here. We're actually about to read the scripture, do a little Bible study, but watch this. Look at this guy's curtains, dude. How'd you do that? Force. <laughs> Dang, bro, you got the RC Sproul book. What's your message to young athletes? What should they do right now? It's a very... <laughs> young athletes? That's a very loaded question, yeah. I mean, the secret to life is to just surrender it, you know? Oh. Think about that one for a second, hang gang. And I think what you're saying is, whoever desires to save their life will lose it, but whoever loses their life, for Jesus' sake, We'll find it and keep it for eternal life. Is that pretty much what you're saying? Yeah, that sums it up pretty well. All right, bro, I say while the night is still young, let's go get another workout in and then get Chipotle and then do a Bible study. We gotta work out three times a day. What do you say? Every night. The weight room's right there. Hang gang, it's literally like Antarctica in here. What's your, what's your air on? 64? Said, let's go, let's go fact check that. They said set it between 64 and 67, so 64. I'm all for cold rooms, but I want to do a thousand push-ups real quick. 2,000. 2,000? <laughs> you know I have a video doing 9,000 reps. Yes, sir. <laughs> Just read Psalm 1. A, be someone whose delight is in the law of the Lord and on God's law, he meditates day and night. What are those glasses you're wearing there, dude? These are blue light glasses, amber. To block out the blue light so that I get sleepy quicker. Well, good Bible study with Zeke. I wanna show you guys what I've been doing in the evenings for the past however many years of my life that I think has helped me just have a foundational level of strength that you can do as well at home and that involves 100 push-ups, 100 sit-ups, 100 air squats, and stretch. I know that sounds like a lot, but really it's not too bad and if you're just doing this, maybe start out with 40 of each and you can break it into sets of 10 or however you wanna do it. I break it up into sets of 25 usually and also I'm gonna read the Bible before I go to bed. But more than anything for this video, hang gang, I know it hasn't been that entertaining. It was just a quick update to let y'all know that I'm entering grind time now with training camp coming up. I obviously can't make a lot of videos right now, but I'm thankful that I have time to put my effort into being the best punter I can be. And guess what? At the end of the day, I trust the Lord. I know that his plan shall prevail, whatever that looks like, right? And that's where we have to have faith and humble ourselves and trust God. I'll leave you with this verse. Matthew 6, Seek first his kingdom and his righteousness. Everything else will be added unto you. Remember that. Lord willing, I see you in the next one. Keep fighting the good fight. Grace, love, peace, and mercy.